In today's video, I have you guys with a monitor settings guide for how you guys can make the game look way better with your TV or monitor. This video is mainly targeted towards console players, mainly because PC players have quite a bit of customization when it comes to in-game settings as well as Windows settings, so this is all just for console players. This is a follow-up video from the last graphic settings video I made a couple of days ago, so if you guys haven't watched that video first, make sure you guys go watch that one first. You need those settings before you move on to these ones. That video is going to cover the most important things like brightness, sharpness, as well as a little bit of contrast. And this video is going to cover everything like color, more contrast, as well as sharpness. So if you guys do enjoy today's video and learn something new, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to chop up today's video in some sections. So if you guys do want to skip around, you guys can use YouTube chapters. So step one is to make sure you can actually access your settings for your monitor or TV. Everyone has a different TV and monitor, and not everyone can access the exact same settings. But just keep, do keep in mind that sometimes these settings are called different things. Things, but they mean the same thing. So for example, if you have color settings, they might be called color vibrance, saturation, or just color. So keep in mind that sometimes they have vague terms for certain things. But the first thing we're gonna look at in today's video is your brightness. Now, this is one of the settings I recommend you guys don't touch too much. This can actually affect the game a lot when it comes to making it look washed. If you guys watch my graphic settings video, you guys know that I said you should put it at 50. Now, if you're experiencing some seriously dark imaging, I mean, like you really cannot see, then you can bump it up maybe by 10 or 15 so maybe 65 brightness is the max you should run but anything above that you're really pushing it the game's gonna look really washed so i don't recommend you guys mess with that too much my brightness settings are at 55 on the dot when it comes to my monitor and it's at 50 in the game and that makes a pretty good image for me now for sharpness you don't need too much sharpness mainly because we do have the fidelity cas setting if you don't use fidelity cas then you do want to bump your sharpness up more but fidelity basically covers most of the sharpness for warzone it's a pretty good setting and it makes it look pretty crispy so like I said, if you guys haven't watched my last video, you guys want to check that out because that's going to go in depth on how you guys can make your game look a little bit sharper with that setting. So for me, when I'm using Fidelity, I go ahead and bump my sharpness up to about 65 to 70. I don't really bump it up too high, but if I'm not playing with Fidelity, you guys might want to bump it up to like 80, maybe 85. Sharpness is pretty important and it's going to make objects around you look a lot more clear. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But like I said, if you guys aren't using Fidelity already, I recommend it unless the game just like lags really bad for you, then I understand. But if it doesn't lag too much and you guys don't see much of a difference performance wise, Fidelity is probably the best bet to go here. All right, moving on to the most important and most requested topic, which is saturation. Now keep in mind that everyone's saturation kind of works a little bit differently and everyone does have different names for saturation according to their monitor or TV. So make sure you guys sift through all the settings to make sure that you're not just passing by the setting just because it's called something different. And just a heads up real quick, yes, the gameplay you guys watch right now is recorded on console and these are the colors you can achieve with monitor settings. So first things first for saturation, I recommend you guys go ahead and bump this up depending on how much color you guys want. I usually use about 80 uh, and this is going from 50, 50 is the base minimum and I go up to 80 so that's about 30 percent increase in color and that's what i usually use i don't use none too crazy but i do like a lot of color in the game because the game looks pretty boring and bland especially back in the shika island now rebirth actually pretty colorful as itself so you guys can actually bump this down this might be a bit too much for you guys but uh i like 88 i think now the last setting we're gonna talk about in today's video is contrast contrast is a very very important setting when it comes to making your colors look more richer and deeper so with that being said i have my contrast set to about 85 now it's pretty high because because there is no in-game, you know, in Warzone game setting that can change your contrast. So you kind of have to do that all from your monitor. Uh, so that's why I have mine quite high. You guys don't have to put that high if you don't want to. Now, real quick, I do want to just mention some other settings you guys might have. If you guys have a monitor or a gaming monitor, you guys might have some response mode times and things like that. If you guys have like a fast mode or a game mode, I do recommend you guys go ahead and turn those modes on if you guys can while the color is there and whatnot. Uh, that's going to give you guys the fastest response time, obviously, which means that you can, you know, win gunfights or see gunfights first or at least much faster than what you would if you didn't have it on. So make sure you guys have your game mode or fast mode or whatever it's called on whatever's going to allow you to respond the fastest. Many of you guys asked me in the past if you guys should have that on. Absolutely, that's going to give you guys a pretty good advantage. And also, you guys might have some settings that you know relate to black equalizer. I know BenQ monitors and some LG monitors have this setting. Uh, you guys probably don't want to mess with this. I've tried this out many times and I think the game looks much worse. What it basically does is it makes all the black areas look brighter. And this mainly appeals to players that feel like, you know, other players are hiding in dark corners with dark skins. And while that is true, I don't think this is the best setting for that. Reason being is because yes, it's going to make the uh, darker areas brighter, but it's also going to make their skin brighter too. And their skin still going to blend into dark areas. It's not going to make a difference. So, so therefore, I just think it's not really a good setting for uh, at least for Call of Duty, maybe other games, but Call of Duty, not so much. 
And for those of you that are saying that RGB will actually give you more color, that is not true. It might give you more of one color like blue or red and make your entire game look like one color, but it's not going to actually increase saturation the way that the other settings do. So if you guys think that that's going to work, then you guys are mistaken. That's not going to work. That's going to make your game look kind of strange. So that's all I have for today's video. This is the most effective way to make your game look more colorful, but for the sharpness and brightness, like I said, I recommend you guys use those settings in game and apply very small small notches in your monitor in order to get a different image. I don't recommend you guys go too crazy in the monitor because it might make it look kind of weird. If you guys have any extra questions for today's video, make sure you guys comment them down below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and understanding always.